my very first book, The Ugly Vegetables. Um, it's a story about um, a girl and her mother, and sh her mother grows Chinese vegetables in the in her garden while everybody else in the neighborhood grows flowers. And the little girl is very embarrassed because um, they're, they're obviously Chinese American or Asian American in the story. And this is very much based on my childhood. This, I think, um, I think one of the things that I did when I wrote my first story was to write what you know, just following those old mantras, write what you know. And um, after I wrote this book, and it was actually a, a, a relative success, I was really, I was really proud of it. But what was happening was I started getting um, uh, letters, or, or parents would say, "Oh, I've been looking so hard for a book just like this with an Asian American character, where, where, um, where there's somebody that looks just like my daughter or just like my son." And then I started thinking about um, myself, and I started thinking about how I grew up, and I remembered how I used to feel uh, very much alone because I grew up in upstate New York where there was not a lot of Asians. In fact, we were the only Asian family um, in, I think, in, my, in our neighborhood. I was definitely the only Asian girl in my classroom. And uh, most of the time, uh, I just forgot about it. Most of the time, I just pretended that I wasn't Asian. In fact, I remember walking past a um, window, and I would see my reflection in the window, and I'd be like, oh, there's a Chinese girl. And I'd be like, oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> because most of the time, I would just forget that I was Asian. and. Um, so, and I think one of the reasons why I did that was because I loved books when I was younger and all the books that I read never had anybody that looked like me in them. And I realized that if there had been, maybe I wouldn't have felt so alone. I wouldn't have wanted to forget that I was Asian so much. And so that's um, something that is a mirror. These books are very much a mirror of, of uh, my life when I was younger. And as a window, um, I hope, as a window, when I was younger, I tell this story quite often. Um, as I said, I always tried to pretend that I wasn't Asian. I always would forget that I was Asian. And, um, and most of the time that worked. Most of the time I, I just forgot that I was. And I, I thought I was just like everybody else in my classroom. And then um, my fifth grade class decided to put on the play The Wizard of Oz. And everybody, all the girls in my class, really wanted to be Dorothy, and I really wanted to be Dorothy too. So every day out on the schoolyard, um, all the girls that were going to try out for Dorothy would stand in a circle, and we'd all sing somewhere over the rainbow, over and over and over again, practicing for the audition. And then finally, um, on the day of the audition, we are standing in that circle one last time practicing, and I turned to the girl next to me and I said, hey, today's the audition. Do you think they might choose me to be Dorothy? And she looked at me and she said, but you can't be Dorothy. Dorothy's not Chinese. And I remember I felt so stupid. And I remember feeling like, oh my gosh, she's right. I'm Asian, I'm, I'm Chinese. There's no way I could ever be Dorothy. And when it was time for the audition, they, when they called my name, I didn't even try out. I just shook my head and I said, no, 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 forget it. It'd be so stupid for, for Dorothy to be Chinese. And so um, what I hope for my books is not only is it a mirror of, of my childhood so that kids who were like me um, can see themselves and not feel so alone. I also hope it's a mirror, uh, I mean a, a, a window for those um, who are not Asian, who are not um, of the a minority race, and they can see um, other, other races and they realize, oh, they are just like, just like me, even though they look different, they may look different, we're, we're very similar. And you know what, Dorothy could have been Chinese. So that's, that's kind of um, how I feel my books are, both windows and mirrors.